What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash CubCamTV for this another edition of Cub Reacts. Now, today, we're getting into another new artist that we haven't reviewed before on the channel, someone who I am very aware of, the sounds of your tog. This one goes by the name Sai Mu, um, and I think this is going to be an interesting tune. I've been told by a few people this is one that I definitely should check out. Um, it's got apparently a lot of things about it that I'm going to enjoy. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into it. As always, if you are new to the channel, Please make sure you're hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, all of that good stuff. We've got a lot of videos to get through today. There's been some wicked releases that I'm very much looking forward to getting into. So we are going to jump right into this one. If you are new to the channel, this is going to be a technical analysis, musical breakdown, and a general reaction video. So there will be a fair few pauses. We're going to break down as much of the tune as we possibly can, uh, looking at the uh, music production behind it, obviously the vocal performance, and uh, looking at the music video as well. So if that's not your cup of tea... I will leave a link to the actual video in the description down below. However, we are going to get into this one right about now. Let's go, my friends. Let's have a look. Okay. Interesting. Man, like your talk. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Your yeah, so, yeah, yeah. From what I understand of um, your talk, he is essentially a Ghanaian drill rapper, like one of the biggest Ghanaian drill rappers out there. Um, I've seen him do collaborations with a lot of big UK names over the sort of typical, um, shall we say, drill sound. This already sounds like it's a little bit more out there with what's going on again, a very sort of reggae inspired instrumental so far. Um, and those sort of sweeping synth lines in there give it a quite a, quite an ominous feel. We're getting into a more sort of typical sounding drill drum arrangement. So that's quite an interesting thing to take. The video looks very clean to kick off with. I'm genuinely very interested to see where this one ends up. But my G's, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. With them a car, send me my money, I need it right away. Woo. With them a car, send me my money, I need it right away. Girls, your friend, our boys, your friend, they be at your cup of tea. Girls, your friend, our boys, your friend, Missy, they be at your cup of tea. Yeah, the arrangement is wavy, man. Woo! Yeah. yeah, calm down. This is sounding crazy. Um, Again, from what I know of your talk, this he's he's primarily focused around the drill sound. This already sounds a lot more experimental and global um, than what I was expecting to hear. Again, the sort of reggae influence over the instrumental, which has slowly disappeared as the tunes already progressed. Um, those sort of syncopated chords, that more sort of typical bassline sound. We're now back to those sort of rolling um, sort of 808s and again, a more sort of skippy rhythmic approach. But I love the vocal on this. I love the kind of um, almost... Almost kind of post dancehall kind of approach that we're getting to it. Those harmonized vocals sound absolutely fantastic. The general kind of space that's being used around the vocal as well. A lot of reverb going on, a lot of um, a lot of vocal um, edits going on, but in a good way. This one has a really interesting feel to it. Um, quite experimental in its arrangement. Let's see where we end up. Oh, the rhythm is crazy, bro. This is so cool, man. I love how different it is. Again, I've listened to a few bits that Your Tog's done, um, and I've liked everything I've heard, but when I was listening to a lot of what Your Tog was doing, it was when I wasn't doing as many reactions, and I was very much focusing on a very specific sound. Um, I'm very happy that we've got around to doing this one today. Um, this is a tune that's going to blow, man. I definitely think it's going to blow. We've seen um, a few of his tunes already kind of explode on a global level. Um, this one for me has so much appeal. Again, the rhythm that's being used, those sort of interesting little percussive stabs that we're getting, giving it this whole sort of syncopated arrangement. You're, it's difficult to not move to this one, you know? It's difficult to not find your whole body kind of moving in a different direction. The rhythm is really, really pushing this one forward. And then when you couple it with those vocals that, um, that are so harmonized and so sonically pleasing, yeah, this is wicked, man. I'm loving the direction. <laughs> Ah. 
Hey, this is crazy. Again, the sort of call and respond we're getting with those vocals. He'll do a, he'll do maybe the first line from a bar, and then the second line will have the sort of call and respond going on with the vocals in the background. It sounds crazy. I love that direction that's being brought into this one. Um, and again, the instrumental is actually reminding me of almost like a sort of post-grime period, sort of like 2015, 16, where you had a lot of slightly quicker instrumentals that were focused entirely kind of around the sort of um, rhythmic arrangement and the sort of almost the kind of jerks that you were getting from that rhythm. The syncopation on this one is absolutely crazy. Like the little percussive stabs you're getting, it really does remind me almost of like a... Uh, Oh, it's really di almost like a slack or someone like from if you ever listen ever listened to boxed on rinse fm they had this kind of period where everything they were making was kind of quirky um and this is definitely in that same sort of bracket this sounds amazing it sounds amazing. The video's crisp as well. Like, obviously, on a lyric level, there's going to be things I'm not going to be able to translate, which obviously I do apologize for. Um, the way I try to make up for that when we do these reactions, again, if you're new to the channel, you, you, I, I may as well explain it. If you're not new to the channel, you already know this. What I try to do is break down the sonics um, of what's going on within these tunes. I try to break down the sort of musical arrangement um, and the sort of production side of what's going on. Um, and obviously, there are lyrics involved in it, which I'm not going to be able to translate, which, again, uh, if there are any things I'm missing lyric-wise, I'd love for you to leave it in the comments down below. Um, I'm always keen on learning more than anything else and that's definitely something this channel allows me to do so please do let me know in the comments down below um lyric wise what the general sort of topic is being discussed um over the over the lyrics are obviously in different languages more than anything else um production wise this is crazy though the uh the sort of 808 slides are becoming more and more prominent as the tune's going on and uh yeah i'm loving the vocal harmonies that are going on man that back and forth is crazy <laughs> You see what I mean about the drums? Though? The drums really have almost like a almost like a post UK funky feel to them, like a Bakongo or someone like that. Um, the, the, the way they're arranged, it just has such a, a throwback kind of feeling to me. It does remind me of a period of kind of UK grime or UK funky where there was a lot of experimentation going on within those drum sounds. Now I don't know if that's necessarily what's influenced this. I feel like your tog will have a very kind of unique set of influences in the instrumentals that he's using, and obviously the production team behind it come from quite a unique angle but i definitely think you can hear a comparison in the sound like go and check out a bakongo tune and you'll see what i mean the sort of use of almost um I'm trying to think of, of kind of unorthodox percussive sounds in lead roles within tunes. That's how you end up with these kind of really unique rhythms and kind of riffs that are being used. Really cool. It's a catchy hook as well. I think... The thing that's so impressive about this for me, when you're going over an instrumental that is, in at least to my ears, as unorthodox as this, it's about 145, 148 BPM by the sounds of things, maybe even 150, um, and you've got these really kind of unique percussive sounds giving it drive. To then come up with a catchy, very kind of earwormy sing-along hook that doesn't sound like it's forced or kind of in the way um, is a really difficult thing to do. You've got two very unique elements going on. You've got the actual harmonizing over the chorus, and you've got the, um, again, the unique sounds that are being used for the percussion. It's absolutely crazy um, that this is as catchy as it is. Like, realistically, it shouldn't be. When you're trying to be kind of out there with sort of arrangements, you often end up kind of steering away from the catchiness. This manages to do both, which is not an easy thing to do. <laughs> Just the atmosphere on this is crazy as well. And I think as well, when we break this one down, the thing that kind of deserves a lot of credit, I feel, is actually the fact that there is so little usage of that 808 slide bass line. It pops up every now and then, but it just kind of sprinkles what's going on. There'll be a big kind of booming 808 at the start of each um, a start of each four bar by the sounds of it. And then occasionally you'll get like a kind of 
sort of sound towards the end. But bar that, it's pretty much all about the percussion and all about the rhythm. Like, it's not a tune that's driven entirely by the bass notation, which for, again, um, this sort of sound is quite a common thing to hear. So there's so much experimentation going on and innovation within the uh, sort of production arrangement. Really, really nice, man. Stuff like that I always find really interesting. Again, if you're here for a sort of, like, lyrical breakdown, that's not what you're going to get on this channel. I get excited over the production side of things, which is um, slightly nerdy, but, you know, we move. The panning on the vocals is really cool as well. Woo! You know what, yeah? It's another comparison to early grime, bro. Those sort of very GM sounding bright horns. It reminds me almost like of uh, a kind of early Rough Squad uh, sort of sound. Um, again, almost like an early DJ Scholar sort of sound. Rest in peace, DJ Scholar. Sadly passed away a few days ago. Um, but the, like again, there's a lot of very early sort of grimy elements in this. Now, I don't know if that's where the influence has come from or it's come via a different route, most likely via a different route. But it's really kind of cool to hear that comparison, I feel. Well, let this one finish out and then we will give a final breakdown. <laughs> Directed by uh, Aquada and Anyame, I believe that's how you pronounce them. Really cool, man. Uh, wicked tune. Again, your Tog doing absolute bits out here. Keeping it creative every time as well. I love the fact that the instrumental on this one is so kind of out there, so experimental, so forward-thinking, and so innovative in its arrangement. Uh, Vocal-wise, this is great. Again, I love the harmonizing, and I love the kind of emotion we're hearing within the harmonizing. The fact it's so catchy over such a unique instrumental for me is the big sort of selling point of this tune. Really, really cool stuff, and uh, I very much enjoyed this one. As always, though, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you are hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. Um, we have loads of videos to get through today, so I'm going to crack on and carry on. As always, though, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Friday afternoon, and we shall see you all next time. Peace. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Cup Camp TV. Stay locked.